Hey guys, it's Greg, your friendly EMC account team, SDM, here at IDF. What we're trying to do here, guys, real quick, is provide you with some overview on storage technology and how it fits into the overall data center. I've got the all-star cast here with me today. Uh, we've got Utum from DCSG, we've got Terry from Intel IT, and we've got Baskar from DCSG. You guys, you ready to get started? We're ready. Yes. All right, let's do it. Hey, come on. Okay, so here you get a typical uh, uh, data center environment with your server, your networks, and your storage. Okay, you have your apps over on the left, and uh, you have your storage fabric here, and you have your Ethernet fabric right here. And your Ethernet fabric, of course, is connecting up your client to your applications and providing all the connections for management of the uh, hosts and uh, all of that. Here we have our storage fabric where we have things like uh, your data traffic, your back, uh, back and forth to the applications, and you have your backup traffic for backing up uh, your data. Over here we have today a lot of uh, SAN NAS uh, uh, storage, a storage area network uh, uh, or network attached storage. And typically this is a scale-up model that you'll find today with the large uh, storage arrays and there are uh, controllers in the uh, arrays with disk shells and you know uh, petabytes of uh, disk. But this is a scale-up model. What happens is when you add more applications, you add more capacity by adding more disks, or if you need more performance, you add disks to add performance. But you're capped within this array. In order to gain more performance, more capacity, you add another array to this configuration and you start adding and adding and adding. In this particular model today, because of the consolidation that's happening over on the host side, you're going to run out of performance here at the array side before you run out of capacity. So you're going to be adding more and more arrays as you scale up your uh, uh, consolidation ratio over here at the host. So this depicts a separate data and storage fabric, and typically a lot of uh, places you'll find a, a large number of network ports here. This only shows one, but typically you'll have a primary, a secondary for backup, you'll have your management network, and you'll have your out-of-band network. You'll have multiple Ethernet connections here, and uh, you'll also find that here the cost of scaling up is very expensive when you try to scale up. And the performance, again, is very limited in this model. So this is what you'll find today in a lot of shops, and you're going to find that it's not very flexible or agile when you start increasing your consolidation ratio over here on the host side. So, fast card? Teddy talked about you know, the data center, how it's architected today. But moving forward, because of the data explosion that is happening across the industry, with at least about 50% growth, we are facing significant challenges in the data center. It starts from, you know, cost to scale up your storage, which Terry talked about it, increased cabling operations and costs of networking. And based on that, there are new technologies and solutions available, which is changing how we define storage and data center architecture. Now, some of the significant changes that has happened between what Terry showed and what uh, we are showing over here that is happening within the data center is, step one is there is uh, unification of the fabric uh, that is uh, happening where we are consolidating both the storage and the network traffic over a 10 gig pipe, and this is eliminating significant amount of uh, cost involved in uh, deploying switches and uh, implementing the significant number of ports that is involved in each one of the servers. So if you look, we are really reducing from seven ports per server to almost two ports per server where you can transmit all your data traffic through your 10 gig port through this consolidated switch and to this scale-out storage architecture. Now the key element within the scale-out architecture is you're really implementing each storage node within a rack as your storage device. And the key advantage over here is that you, know, you can really implement 
dip, you know, any number of storage nodes based on your performance and your, uh, you know, data capacity needs, thereby reducing your cost to implement, you know, storage devices, which in the uh, previous or today's architecture, you had you have to really implement the whole rack if you have to address certain performance or capacity issues. Another architecture feature that is getting introduced as part of the data center of the future is the proximity storage. This is where you're using some of the latest flash storage technologies to bring storage closer to the compute where those applications that require higher performance can access the storage, especially for you know, caching purposes. Now, now, with this architecture, one of the key advantages is any IT customer now has a choice where he or she can build or can, uh, you know, pick the building block of their choice, especially with significant number of open source solutions that's available in the market today. Okay, like Utum said, you know, we have this scale out storage, unified fabric, and what it really gives us, uh, the customer, uh, IT, uh, a lot more choices. Uh, in whether they want to do scale up, scale out, is still Intel building blocks. And with scale out, uh, you have the additional choices of the software uh, to enable this type of storage. And uh, I think you'll find it's more cost effective than uh, doing the scale up uh, model. And uh, with this, obviously, you know, the building blocks here and the cost uh, reduction here with the unified fabric. And this is primarily a performance play here. And it really reduces, it, it can be a cost reduction because it reduces the performance requirements off of this back end. And the performance is going to be gained here closer to the applications where you need it. So, you know, there's a whole cost aspect to this, but the customer has, in the end, has more choices by doing this model than by doing the traditional model that you've seen. Uh, on the scale-up storage, uh, you don't have the compute power with each node. Here, with the storage nodes, each storage node has capacity and has performance. If you need performance, you add another node. And it's scalable in that fashion. It's scale out, and you can continue to scale to the capacity or to the performance you need in a very inexpensive fashion. Whereas with scale up, you're locked into a set number of CPU cycles you have available in the array, and you are locked in on the capacity that you have on a particular array. So when you have to then expand either in capacity or performance, you buy a whole new array, which is very expensive to do. So that's the difference between scale out and the scale up model storage.